Hey what's up you guys I'm Envision and in this video I'm going to teach you how to set up your Amazon Kindle. Let's get started. To power up the Kindle all you need to do is press and hold this button right here and wait for it to boot. Once it boots you'll see this screen and it's going to ask you to choose your language. So I'm going to choose English United States and then click get started. Now the Kindle is going to take some time to load, it'll probably take about 5 minutes so just be patient until then. And once it loads it'll ask you to connect to the Wi-Fi so just click on the connect to Wi-Fi button. And now it will display all the Wi-Fi networks it currently sees. If you can't find yours from the list, just click rescan. And then your Wi-Fi should pop up. Now just click on your Wi-Fi network and then enter in the password, then click connect. Now it's going to ask you to register your Kindle with an Amazon account. If you already have an Amazon account, click the first button and enter in your details. If you don't have an Amazon account, click the second button to create a new account. Creating an Amazon account is very simple. All you have to do is select your country or region. So I'm located in the United States. I will select United States and then click continue. And now just set up your profile and put in your full name, email, enter your password, confirm your password, then click create account when you're done. This is probably the most difficult step I encountered creating an account. You have to enter in the CAPTCHA and we all know how hard that can be. But this one's extremely hard. So basically the letters move across the screen as you can see here and you have to decipher what's on the screen. I found it pretty difficult. It took me like five minutes to do. But if you're stuck on a CAPTCHA, you can click see new characters over here. And if you want to hear the CAPTCHA, you can click hear the characters over here. This is a time lapse of me struggling and it got so bad that I literally had to take it off camera and finish it. When you finally solve the CAPTCHA, it's going to ask you for your payment method. You can either choose to do this now, this is for buying books on the Amazon Kindle store, but if you want to skip, you can skip by clicking the skip button, I said skip 50 million times, over here. Also if you have a gift card, you can put in the code over here and click apply to your account to claim the code. I'm going to choose to skip the payment information section because you can always input your payment information later. And now there's going to be a pop up confirming that you want to skip, click OK. The Kindle tablet's a little bit slow so just bear with me, but the next step is going to be one of the last steps and will be done making the account. Now it's asking you to enter in your residential information. Just enter in your information and click next or you can click set up later to do it later. Just click ok for the confirmation. And now click continue. Click not now for getting Kindle on your phone. Now you can choose to set up your account with Goodreads if you want. If you do, just sign into your existing account or turn it on, but I'm going to click skip. The Kindle will give you a quick start guide, it will give you tips like how to navigate your Kindle, doing quick actions, and finally how to explore the homepage. When you finish reading, click done to move on to the next step. If you want to get personalized book recommendations from your favorite genres, I recommend clicking the let's get started button. Okay, so all you have to do is just click on the genres you like, and I like business, fantasy, fiction, etc. And once you're done selecting your genres, all you have to do is click the next button. Now you're going to be presented with 3 books and you have to rate them from 1 star to 5 star. And you have to do that for 10 books in order for Kindle to really understand what you like and what you don't like and to give you the best recommendations possible. If you don't know any of the titles, you can always click the refresh button to show you 3 more books. This step took me a little bit of time but trust me it's worth it if you're an avid book reader. And once you're done, just click the next button. Based on the data it gathered from the previous step, it will recommend you 4 titles which you can download a sample of. All you have to do is just check or uncheck the sample you want to download and then click download samples. Now you're going to be asked to hook up your Kindle with Goodreads, just click not now if you're not interested. Now your Kindle is finally set up and ready to use. That's all for the video, in a couple days I'm going to be releasing a full in-depth guide on how to use your Kindle and all the tips and tricks you need. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to stay notified. Also make sure you like the video and comment if you have any suggestions or need any help. Thanks for watching.